Okay, it's time to add the next piece to this animation. Now, after this piece flies in, we're going to have the words on the logo also fly in. But when they fly in, this bar will need to stay on the screen. So even though the animation, in this case, happens from 1 to frame 24, we then want the bar to exist past the frame. And there's two ways of doing this. In my mind, it would be really easy if we could just go out here and say right-click, insert frame. But if I do that, watch what happens. The blue color indicates that this motion tweening has been extended all the way now to 50. And if you see here, you can see that the easing, right, the motion path, and each dot represents a frame and how far the thing has moved per frame, the object has moved per frame, has been diluted by extending the um, motion tween. So in other words, it looks like this, right? But before, I'll do Control Z, you can see that over here on this frame, it looked like this, and the object was really slowing down. So what we need to do is we need to extend this, this object on its life on screen so that it stays on screen, but we don't want it to be part of a motion tween. And this is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to select the object, and I'm going to do an Edit Copy. Then what I'm going to do is I'll deselect, I'll right click on this next frame and insert a blank keyframe. Right? You can see here there's a blank keyframe. And then I'll go Edit Paste in Place. Now that pastes the object, but notice the blue color is gone. So now I can go out to frame 50 and right click Insert Frame. And notice that this is light blue indicating a motion tween this is gray indicating no motion tween so now the object has animated onto the stage and then now it just exists and so it can stay in the rest of our movie and uh, it's not going to have that tweening problem okay now that I have that I'm going to add in the next piece so I'll make a new layer I'll put a keyframe where I want to start my next object to animate I'm going to right click insert keyframe and then I'll go into my library, find the object that I want to animate. In this case, it'll be the the. And I'll drop it on the stage where I want it. And I'm thinking I want it to animate into position right here. Now, you can see here that that's about where it needs to be, according to the graphic. So what I can do is, and according to the graphic, it's much tighter all the way over. So I'll move it over so that we don't have any uh, black in between. And I will um, take one more look at the graphic and see that, OK, in fact, that is the case. So that's exactly where I'm going to want it. So now it exists on the stage here, but I want it to fly into this position. So what I'm going to do is highlight it. I've got my Move tool selected and I will hold down the shift key and then use the arrows on the keyboard to move it down. So there it goes, almost all the way off screen. Okay, that's good. And now what I want to do is I'll put a keyframe for where I want the animation to end. So let's see here. I want it to animate it maybe across 10 frames, so it's going to happen very quickly. So I'll just right click, insert keyframe, let's say right here. And now I'll highlight this frame and I'll say insert motion tween. And now, as you notice, the motion tween exists. The baby blue motion tween goes from 24, let's say, to 33. If I want to move that over, I could always drag that keyframe over a little bit to extend it a little bit farther. Now, though, I need to put the playhead at the end of the baby blue motion tween and then highlight my object, use the arrows on the keyboard, and move them into position. And you'll be able to see the motion path. So there's the motion path. I want to, um, on this motion path, I want easing. So I select the motion path, I mean the uh, motion tween on the keyframes, basically. And I will change the easing to 100, and that will slow down the object as he as the object animates into position. Let's do that one more time for the rest of the letters. To add the next object, I make a new layer. 
and if I want the animations to happen one right after the other what I can do is put a uh, keyframe so F6 on the stage and drag my object out that I want and there it is and you can see here that this is where I want it to be notice that this keyframe the the is not in the correct place so I will need to fix that um, let me move it notice what layer I'm on here I'm going to put the eyeball off on this layer make sure I'm on this layer and I'm going to move that into position okay if I want to I can double check to make sure the positions are equal so I select the the here and I say looking at here and on this keyframe it says x 230 y 159.8 and then this one says x 230 159.8 so that is pretty much the same there so now I'll turn the eyeball back on here unlock it and I'll move the word edge in place okay so that's where I want it to end up right there so this animation took place over uh, 24 over 10 frames so I'll make this one take place over 10 frames I will put a keyframe where I think it's going to end here and we'll say okay so it's going to end right here I'll put a keyframe insert keyframe then I'll go back over here and once again I'm doing this all this with the move tool highlight this object then I'm going to use the arrows on the keyboard to just hold down the shift key will move five pixels at a time if you let go of the shift key it moves one pixel at a time so I hold down the shift key right arrow move it off screen and then I can now go insert motion tween and then arrow it into position and it should animate into position but it hasn't so why is that well I've got a motion tween now right here it's here and then over here it's in the same place so that's not good so um, what I need to happen is move it off screen on the first frame right at the beginning it's off screen and then at the end use the shift key and arrow it on screen and I want to make sure as I go from frame to frame that it doesn't move and sure enough now it moves across I highlight my motion tween and take my easing to 100 which will hopefully slow down the animation alright at the end I can play the whole thing control play this moves into position and then those two slide into place